Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Liu Bei Let's Play. We pick it up for episode 35 from turn 151 in the harvest season of year 220. So last episode, uh, we wrapped it up when we have uh, Chengdu under siege. We finally made it to our first emperor seat. We have also crossed over the river and finally entered into a war with um, the Wu separatists now. Uh, we split that up uh, through a civil war with our spy earlier and our armies are pouring down south uh, to finally engage in this war with Kingdom of Wu. Um, there's nothing much this turn uh, and I did everything before the end of last episode so we're just going to be going to the next turn. Okay so Yuan Chu, our coalition partner, is asking us to join in a war against Tao Sheng, who is one of the factions out west he's willing to pay us for it but right now I don't want to do this because Taosheng surrounds Chengdu and right now we only have one army sieging Chengdu so if Taosheng fights us then we risk um, having them break the siege with another army and then with only Zhuge Liang's army there it could get dangerous so we're just gonna reject for now it doesn't matter what Yuan Shu think of us okay so the Wu separatists declare war on Yellow Turb rebellions because I think they have a couple rebellions in their territories uh, Han Fu is the father. So we have Han Fu's wife in our faction and she just gave birth to a daughter. Interesting. And there's a new character available. Don't think we need any more characters. We're wrapping up the campaign. Um, I actually want to do a campaign in the future where I have some superstitious characters. It's just to see what random events might be triggered. Uh, but right now I think it's too late for that. We just will keep her be. I guess I don't know. Yeah, we don't need her. We're wrapping up our campaign soon. Zhang Fei gained some traits. Tao Mao gained some traits. Not bad traits. Okay, let's start running through our armies. Uh, first, we have a level up. That's nice. Who is it? Oh, so many characters. There we go. Uh. She's been on assignment. I think we just give her the final assignment. Counteract corruption. Good for her. Now we can look through our armies. So we've been sieging and they have not come out to fight us. These two are yellow turbans but they're Gongdu's men. They're not part of the yellow turban rebellion so they're not going to fight us and they're our coalition partner. Um, it seems that they have supplies, but oh, they're out of supplies now. They're gonna go through attrition starting this turn. So maybe at this end turn, they will come out and fight because they do have twice the amount of men. So I think the AI might get them to come out. So we might be able to fight them uh, during this end turn. So let's hope for that. And then we can look at our other armies. Guan Yu was chasing down Liu Yao's army. Uh, they escaped, but he has really no forces. We don't need to worry about that. And it's Kong Zhou. Huh, interesting. So he, after his faction died off, he went over to Liu Yao. Alright, we're gonna come try to take the Donghai fishing port. Liu Qi's army is crossing the water to go assist uh, Sima Yi over here. Oh, actually, I think we originally wanted him to go west. To pick up some of these Taosheng's factory uh, factions uh, land after we take the Chengdu Emperor seat, and Sima Yi is going to have plenty of help coming down from this side. So we will ask Liu Qi to go this way and most likely help uh, grab Shang Yong soon. Um, let's see, Zhang Yan came here to defend against this force. I think we'll just head out to the edge of our border to see what they do. Seems like this one wants to go up north. And perhaps she will move across, we don't know. Zhang Fei can continue his march down south. I guess we'll take the road. Or we can... Hmm, there's a yellow turban faction here. They spawn here because of them, not because of us. But still dangerous. I guess Ma Chao can head out east to take care of this mess. Zhang Fei can continue to head down south. I think we'll go through our Yuan Shu, our allies, our coalition allies land. 
and head down towards uh, Jiang, Jiangxia. Uh, this is our northern army. We have them trying to go out by the sea route to go down south. Perhaps deep, deep south as an invasion force. That take care of all our armies. Let's look at our buildings. Lu Jiang could upgrade the tax collection one more time. They have plenty of up, um, plenty of uh, public order to handle that. Uh, this is fully upgraded. This could upgrade one time, and then we can pick up some um, tax collection. Yu Zhou, uh, this is a uh, marketplace. Uh, yeah, this is fine. That's just food production. This is fully built. Basically, need reforms for those. Uh, here we need an inn, and then we need to upgrade this one more time. Everything else looked pretty good. Oh, here we go. Private workshop first. That should take care of everything. Yes, okay. Let's uh, end turn, because uh, we might have that siege battle in Chengdu. Oh, I think we have a general die of old age. A Huangzu. Okay, yeah, he's old. Not surprised he passed away. We were expecting this. Uh, do we have a champion? Tao Mao. Oh, we have a bunch of champions that could take over. Let's see, who has good traits for the battlefield? Plus 5 campaign movement range is good, plus 5 melee evasion. Slow level up, okay, not the best. Plus 25% chance of evading capture, that's not really useful. Ooh, he has Burnt. That's good. Plus 15% ammo, minus 30% enemy ammo, that's wonderful. He's a little old, but it's fine. If he dies, we we'll replace him with someone else. So let's flip this uh spy returning okay uh let's see who do we want to improve relationship with we'll go with energetic i like energetic as a trait huangzu died at age 73 okay that's a long time good for him huangzu gained lame and then died ah fell on his side that's an interesting way to die Anyways, uh, we... Wang Zi. Who is Wang Zi? Wang Zi is uh, this new spy in Duchy of Wei. Okay, that's fine. He's not one of our premium spies. Uh, he should try to continue to pursue a military role. Uh, these things take chances. They have too many armies right now, so maybe they're not going to be able to pull it out. But once they suffer some army loss, they'll be more than happy to do it. Um... We can recall her and make her do like a military revolt on the army that she is leading, which is right here. And then she will take control. She will come back to us with all these items. Wow, actually, whew, that's a lot of good items. This is tempting. We'll think about it. We don't need to rush that. Uh, right now um, let's see let's see so it seems like the yellow turbans are not coming out uh, so they are starting to suffer from attrition the walls are still really strong they still have a lot of men they lost about 400 this turn it's winter so I guess we'll just continue sieging maybe they'll come out if not we'll go ahead and fight meanwhile Gundu is over here doing the yellow turban burning the land thing All right, let's pick up Donghai Fishing Port. We've been eyeing this all game. Uh, I'll fight it and cut it out. It's a very standard garrison fight. All right, that was very simple. No losses. Capture that. All right, let's see if it's a level five fishing port. Oh, it's far from it. I gotta upgrade this all the way to five to prevent the upkeep cost. Uh, we'll look at the assignments later when we look at all the buildings. Let's go through our armies again. 
Liuqi is sailing out west to assist. We'll have him come close to uh, Shangyun first, in case we want to turn up, depending on how fast uh, we take Chengdu, because we are going to probably have to fight Tao Sheng's men after that. Mm, Zhang Fei. Zhang Fei can stand where he is right now. And then we can have um, him come over and take the fishing port. Also would be a garrison fight, which would be pretty simple. Alright, let's grab this and uh, I'll cut it out again. Alright, another casualty free fight. Same battle, it's the fishing port as well. Occupy. And we need to check to see what level it is. Also, just level 3. Alright, we'll upgrade it once we get that done. Uh, cycle through our armies. Yes, we're gonna have Zhang Fei's army come to the edge here. He doesn't have to be on march anymore. He can actually just come over here. Try to try to find a place to uh, attack over there. Maybe he can attack the trade port, but there's a lot of enemies. Gotta be careful. Alright, coming down the water route is our other guy. This will take a while, but there's nothing else to do. Ma Chao's army. Uh, heading over to Lu Jiang. We can come to the edge. And we can attack it next turn. So now, Guan Yu can go down south this way. After we pick up Lu Jiang here, they can head south and meet up Guan Yu over here. We can start attacking from this side, which is a little bit weaker, and then sweep down. Sima Yi is still holding position. We're waiting for our ambush to work. It's 100%. Just gotta wait till someone walk into the circle. Um, elsewhere, we need to do one thing before we end turn. Is He needs to have some items. Alright. This is the best thing we can give him, I guess. Well, this one's good. No good horses. This is good. And do we have any... Uh, instinct is actually pretty good to give because he's probably going to be fighting a lot of duels all right so this side's ready let's look through the buildings and then we can end turn uh, we can't convert this because we don't have the reforms and we don't want to upgrade this anymore because we're now negative public order huh why do we upgrade it in the first place fine we'll just downgrade i'm not in the mood to manage public order right now we're at the end. We're gonna play it out. Alright, so this is Chen. So this is a big capital building here. We're gonna do the conscription. Do we want it to be income or do we want it to be just farming? I mean, it's super cheap to build this. But maybe we don't need it. Maybe we just state workshop it and then get it to reduce corruption around. Uh, over here, marketplace. And there we go. Uh, we wanted to fight corruption. That's why we built you in the first place. Seems like everything is good. Uh, state private workshop first. And then this probably needs to build a marketplace after all these leveled up. Seems like we're doing great everywhere else. Pick up a few extra upgrades. Oh, this place could use a lot of help, actually. State Workshop. This is a good potential. Uh, what is this? Jincheng. Yeah, Jincheng has the trade port, like a harbor building, and it has a uh, silk. So we can upgrade this eventually to the... Um, well, this is a spice port. We need the marketplace, the market wharf, to upgrade all the way to the silk one. Anyways... We have one assignment, which we'll give over to Dong if we can find something for it. Yes, we can. Surplus market. Who has surplus market? There we go. Alright, we're good. Let's go next turn. Let's hope the yellow turbans come out and fight us. Alright, Gongdu has asked us to join this war. Um, we are planning to fight them. Liu Qi is in place. And I think we can, even if they don't come out this turn, we can take Chengdu next turn. So I guess we will agree. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's do him a favor. We want to keep him as a friend. He's very powerful. Yuan Shu, not so much. Okay, yeah, we joined the war against Tao Sheng. Gao Gan got destroyed. They had that one army running around and they tried to take a territory, but they failed, so they died. Uh, we got a new horse. Wonderful. Let's see what is it. Red Stallion. Zhang Fei? He has a red stallion. Okay. Liu Qi. There we go. Alright, we can pick up a new reform. Uh, I feel like it's too late for us to invest in the agriculture. Although we do need a lot of buildings. We want this one. We want the level 3 temple. We've been waiting for it for a while. Alright, so that's done. Uh, let's see. Anything else important happen? Some new characters. So what's the Zhu Lan? How old is she? 49? Okay. Interesting. Okay, everything else is good. Um, let's go through our armies first. We're at war with uh, Tao Sheng now, so... I guess we can start here. We can finally take a weaponsmith. Uh, let's see what else. Guan Yu can march down south and try to take the farmland. He didn't take any losses, so we can just keep marching. So if you notice, there's a lot of Yellow Turban Rebellions happening around the Separatist faction. They're having a hard time keep their territory. If I just hover like this, you see Yellow Turban here, Yellow Turban here, Yellow Turban here, Yellow Turban who took a place already. And yeah, so they're having trouble putting down Rebellions. That's going to help us out. And we're going to push into their ter territory very soon with our armies. Uh, Zhang Fei is over here. Uh, we're going to try to get him to cross over the, the, the water here without him... There we go. I don't want to stay in the water because every naval fight is auto-resolved. So I don't want to auto-resolve our fights. I want to rather fight them. So he's going to head to take over Changsha Trade Port. Uh, Zhang Yan also here need to cross over. Uh, I think he just... Okay, I'll take him. Uh, no, I don't want to. That's what we wanted to avoid. Alright, hopefully we don't get attacked um, in the water this turn. And we'll try to take Puyang's uh, iron mine. Uh, elsewhere, Ma Chao. Pick up one of these easy garrison fight. Grab the lumberyard before Kong Rong grabs it. He's our vassal, but we need it, not him. Oh, we got reinforcements. I guess we can just delegate this one, this one. Even though, you know, it's easy fight both ways. But with help, why don't we do that? Uh, we still lost a lot of men. Hmm. I hate all the resolve. But sometimes you're just too lazy, you don't want to fight it. Okay, we got a level up here. Guan Xing. Okay. Does Ma Chao have. I mean, Ma Chao has reach already, so we don't need to go for reach. So let's get endurance to enable fatigue resistance. Vengeful. For scare. Actually, this route might be still better. It might be still better to go this way to get that. I mean, oh, we don't need that. Ooh, did I make a mistake? Maybe, maybe I made a mistake. Cause I don't know if we need Earth and Rampart. Ah, it's too late to second guess ourselves. It's not game ending, so. All right, we're continuing our sailing across the world mission here. We're gonna aim for Jian Jian Ye, which is five turns. Not that bad. Alright, let's look at the buildings before we fight the Siege of Chengdu and grab our first Emperor seat. Don't need a strategist. Uh, Mi Heng, maybe. She's only level 3. Let's use her. Um, there we go. Level 3 temple. That's what we're kind of looking for. With that new reform unlock, we can pick up some temples in some key cities. Market building. Huh. We need to upgrade. We need to convert this, but it's not going to let us convert a level 4 building. Because we haven't unlocked it. So we could actually go back down to a level 3 building. Or we can keep it. 4 food plus 200 food. That's actually really good. Right? If we switch it to our own building that's level 3, it's only 3 food, 110. And this is minus 6 food, 220. So plus 4 food, 200 is really good. Let's just keep that. We just keep the city like this. Neutral state. All right, marketplace build up. Uh, yeah, let's build the inn. 
We're gonna grab T soon as we're moving towards Changsha. Then we can start switching our inbuilding to the T version and our economy is gonna boom one more level. Even though our economy is already super solid, we can probably recruit out like, you know, seven more armies if we wanted to. But that would just be more stuff to manage and our army right now can totally take care of the situation on the map. So I don't see a need to do that. All right, we took out all the buildings. Uh, our spy came back, so we have an empty spy slot. Uh, we should spy on the separatists. Nah, they're... Mm. Maybe Shi Hui down the, all the way in the south. Let's just get some vision on them. We'll send him out again. Uh, he failed us once, but maybe he'll work this time. All right, let's grab our first emperor. Look at these guys. They step forward, and in their positions. Uh, we get we get them as reinforcements. So let's take this siege right to them. This will be funny. Uh, maybe I'll stand back and see if they actually come and reinforce and help us fight. Let's go to it. Alright, so just like in history, Zhuge Liang leads Liu Bei to the historical uh, capital of Shu, Chengdu. And uh, we have a huge regional city here. Uh, it is an uh, imperial capital seat, but it's held by the Yellow Turban Rebellions now. We have two allied forces from Gongdu who's here to assist us. Uh, I'm curious whether they will actually do any fighting. Uh, regardless, we're going to shift our forces towards here too, because the gaps already created in the wall save us some ammo. And I think if we look at the range here, we have to knock out this, this, and this to walk into here. So we'll just line up somewhere around here. Now if they're willing to charge in and fight, there's no point for us to do any fighting. So we're just gonna first see if they're actually gonna show up. Let's see if our friends... Wow. Not only are they showing up, what is that symbol? They enraged? Confident? Out of control? Why are they out of control? Oh, is it just saying that you can't control them right now? I mean, we can't control them at all. I wonder, I wonder if they will actually march out to fight. Um, regardless, let's move our trebuchets we can turn off auto fire and just move them into range uh, both of them not just one of them there we go that's the max range we can put them to do the most accurate damage they're marching forward Ooh, wow okay if Gondul's man want to fight for me I am very happy uh, we're a little... the frames are dying a little bit, Frame the frame rate. Because I don't think I had had this many troops on the map before. Huh. Okay. Shouldn't really affect us too much. We're really just gonna siege this out for a little bit. Uh, maybe once his men start dying, our uh, graphic card can rest. Meanwhile, we're just gonna move everyone up a little bit. And I'm going to actually just watch them charge the enemy settlement. Let's see. Oh, you can, oh, you can see their AI instructions. Look at that. Hold down spacebar. Look at them, see where they're going. I think they're just trying to attack this corner. It's actually interesting to see how AI siege this thing. I really like their color though. This little teal blue. It's really pretty. The ally color and the enemy red and our green. Anyways, uh, it's gonna take forever for our tribuches to go up, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, if nothing interesting happened, I'll cut this part out.
Okay, uh, we're back. Our guys are not in position yet, but it seems like the yellow turbans are making their move. Right, if you look at their command, they're just charging straight for the walls. Uh, it's jumpy to watch the frame rate here, but here they go. The masses of yellow turbans charging at the walls. We'll, we'll let them uh, absorb the first wave. Uh, our tribuches are not in position yet. They're almost there. They're close. Ooh, fire arrows. Okay, so we don't even need to worry about the arrow towers. So they'll take care of that. Save us some ammo. But the frame rate is really bothering me now. Look at the arrows. They're just like slowly going frame by frame. Alright, they took care of that. They're gonna march forward. This is insane. AI charge. Okay, we're still gonna be doing our thing and knocking down the fort tower and this arrow tower right here. They're sh no, they're shooting people. Okay. Yellow turban on yellow turban action. All right, we're in position. We're gonna start by knocking out this guy right here. I don't care if this tower is actually gonna do more damage to them. They are our allies, but we're not really treating them like that. I know. What a sick man, letting an ally die. But you know what? You know, there's a good chance we'll be fighting Gondu in the future. So we really don't want him to have healthy armies around us. Especially that we're in a war with Taosheng as well right now. It could go south really fast. Gotta be prepared. Alright, that's good. That's good. We're ready. Got it over 50%. Gotta save ammo. Okay, we have... Wow, 20 ammo left. 20 and 19. Alright. They're charging in. Should I assist them? I mean, we can knock some of these wall out. There's some archers here. There's some archers on the wall here. Bust this wall open. Alright, here they come. Yellow turbans going in. Shooting at their own men, too. Alright, gotta knock this wall open. We we'll also open up from shooting angles from the inside. Ooh, there we go. Alright, that killed most of those archers. Uh, let's open fire here. Also should light that city on fire in that corner. Alright, they're pouring in. We should probably help them knock this four tower down, but... That's not our priority right now. We are killing their reinforcement ammo. Okay, as they're dying, the frame rate's improved by a lot. So yeah, we need them to die, just to make this more viewable for you guys. There we go. We're taking out archers. There's only two guys left in that group. Let's see, who else we should fire at? Alright, we'll help them out. We'll help them out. Help kill these archers too. Are we firing? Alright, there we go. Why are we so slow to help our allies? Come on, guys. Fire faster. There we go. It's on fire now. That's all we're gonna help. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to shoot inside? We don't want to kill our own guys. We're not that evil. Uh, the archers are running out of ammo. That's great news for our archers. Uh, let's knock this guy out. Free up more open space in the front for our archers to move up in. We have the extra ammo and they're doing the fighting inside, so... I feel like we might not be needed in this fight. Uh, one of our ally generals died, that's fine. Come on, Zhuge Liang. That's clearly our strategy here. Let's not worry like you actually care. Why are we not shooting at this? Oh, uh, they're sh shifting their angle. 22 percent. I'm missing pretty badly. 44. Okay, one more, one more volley maybe. No, still no hits. I think this one should be good. I can stop it. Well, wow, only 43. Really? I right, need to wave, waste another wave. There's an enemy general that's run out. 
That's fine. We'll let him run a little bit. Uh, he's going to be in power range for a while. Cool. There we go. That's good. Another general died, huh? Alright, we'll help them out a little bit. We'll bomb this area. This guy's on the run. I think we'll just let him run. He's gonna run along the arrow towers and we can't really chase him with our generals. Alright, this is gonna be good help, right? You guys are all clamped up here. I'll fight, hit their back line. Alright. I'm gonna stop hitting that. Feels like they're gonna break through now. Mm, where else should I hit? Feels like they got this. They're using their archers as melee units now. Alright, we'll hit right here where the reinforcements are coming. And stop the reinforcement. There we go. See? We're helping. Keep firing, guys. We wanna help. There we go, right? Alright, that one burned down. Their archers are coming out with plenty of ammo. They still have a lot of men. Alright, now that we're hitting our own guys too, let's stop the fire. Mm. Alright, let's fast forward a little bit. Let's see what these ill turban guy can do. And we can fire the wall here. This unit's on the wall. If we just hit it right here. As we wait till they finish up this mess right here. Yeah, they got this. They don't need us. I mean, if they lose, we'll revenge them. For sure. We'll definitely go in and revenge them. Mm. Alright, they left the wall. There's no point to hit them now. I mean, this clump... So tempting. Like there's there's enemies here. There's allies as well, but maybe just here. And if we miss, it's not our fault. We're helping. Come on guys, we're helping. Are we firing? Oh, they're not firing because that wall blocks them. What about here? A little bit farther back? We'll fire there, right? There we go. Kill off those people who are routing. Alright, we'll fire the inner arrow towers. They're too slow. This group's not killing them fast enough. Alright, you know what? Send our guys up. Pick off these guys. Let's see, did we kill that arrow tower? Only 15% damage. What kind of accuracy is that? There we go. 78 is much better. Right, they're going to burst through through and then they can go in. We're helping them clear the way. Our crossbow men are going to go finish off those archers. We have a few archers here. Should we do it? No, we'll keep our allies alive. Not that mean. Uh, stop. Half much damage. 31%. So not enough damage to kill it. Three shots. They're shooting at them now. They'll figure it out. We'll fire it again. Yo, another general died. Okay. Maybe kill these guys first. They might be shooting at us soon. Is that enough damage? Okay, at least we got the surrounding areas on fire. So that will burn out, I think. Um, let's see, where else should we fire? Maybe just this thing, and then we'll be done. Use up the rest of the ammo on that. 
All right. Are they dying? Four guys left. I think we're killing people down here by accident. Three. Well, these guys are just standing behind the bricks, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. Look at them. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever hit them. Let's hit these guys. These guys, we're hitting them from the back. It's much easier. Oh, they're shooting us though. That's stupid. Two guys shooting at us. You know what? Hit them. With our last two volleys. Who cares about the inside turret? Oh, that's on fire anyways. Alright, this massive unit's gotta go in. As we clean up the rest of this map here. Yeah, our trebuchets will take care of these two guys. Fire? Wow, this frame rate is terrible. Oh well, at least they're dying for us. Can't really complain about this. Alright, this one's kind of routing. Right, they routed. I think everyone's going to route. I think we won this fight. But they won this fight. We're just enjoying it. Alright. Alright, so we got our first uh, Emperor seat without using any of our men. None of our men died. The Yellow Turbans, the, the Gongdu faction helped us immensely in this fight. I feel kind of ashamed, but we got the capital seat. And Zhuge Liang seems to have leveled up as well. Alright, Yellow Turban is no longer Emperor. We captured our first Emperor seat. Exciting times. Um, Zhuge Dan leveled up. Finally picked up... I don't know if we need... we don't need Fire Arrow. But this enables Night Battle. And we can get the Sight of the Dragon. Oh my god. 5,000 range, 5,000 forest spotting. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we have to go down this route then. Time to fix a lot of the buildings. Uh, a lot of conversion needed to be done, basically. These are all yellow turban versions of the building. I'm surprised we siege for so long, but all the buildings are not on fire. I was expecting to come in and fix everything. So this is state workshop. This is labor. This is private workshop. This is government's... Okay, this is government support, and this is land development. So, but we're building this as land and... Are we doing this as... I don't know if we're actually building this as peasantry and industry. I guess we could. Peasantry and industry. Not the best combination, but not the worst. I uh, feel like... Minus 21. We'll still be okay. I mean, if we're doing peasantry and industry, then maybe a tax building. But then we're maxing population. Feels like we don't need the state workshop then. The private workshop. We can instead build a temple here. So demolish private. Go for tax collection and the temple. And then we'll convert these when we have build slots. Yeah, but this is really not that important. We just needed to have the, the, the emperor seat. Uh, we got a nice uh, weapon. I think we'll just reward our general with it, even though we didn't do anything. And then this completes the wall set, which doesn't really matter because uh, we have the strategist ready. So we already have the ability to use our formations. Uh, now what we are now is we're in war with Taosheng, the yellow factions over here and over here. Uh, we'll just start picking them off, uh, which is going to be pretty easy to do. Um, I think that wraps up all our movement, and uh, we can end turn here. Oh, Yuan Shu wants to vote to remove us from the coalition. Sun Ce agrees with him, Gong Du disagrees. So we'll disagree, and then I think we'll stay in? Yes. So he's starting to think about betraying us. 
Okay, but instead Sun Tzu voluntarily leaves, which is fine. He can say bye-bye. Alright, so we destroyed one Yellow Turban Rebellion, but there's gonna be more. Sun Tzu left our coalition. Okay. So, right now, against Taosheng over here, Gongdu was really strong. This is all Gongdu's army right here. Gongdu's army, Gongdu's army, Gongdu's army, Gongdu's army, Gongdu's army, Gongdu's army. And they're gonna make a move against Taosheng. And we don't want to lose them as a front. I don't really care about Yuan Shu, but Gongdu is someone we have to keep happy. And right now we're best friends. Uh, we should just go to negotiate. Let's see what we can do with him. I mean, we could transition into a military alliance. They both said no to that. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, I feel we're good. I guess we can't really do anything. I mean, he's at 200 with us. There's no way he, he would betray us. He left coalition, but doesn't mean we can't be friends. Uh, we can ask him for some money. Let's see. When's the reason? Oh, it gets unreasonable right about here. Yep, yeah, right about here. 2.7? 2.4? 2.4. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, anything else we can do? Military access? Yeah, why not? We're planning to sell our army down there anyways. 4.8. Uh, more money, we'll just take per turn this time. Mm. Getting close. 4.8. There we go. Anything else? I mean, it says no here, but the fact that he shows up makes... Oh, I can't negotiate? Okay, never mind. Okay, let's fly through our armies again for this turn. Uh, we've taken this Chengdu capital. Uh, we're, we're not going to take the rest of these, because I'm pretty sure we can't beat Gongdu's army to all the counties. But we definitely want the armor craft. So we're going to head down this way. We'll grab this this turn. Actually, pretty free. Uh, we now have night battle. They have cavalry, so this might be a uh, better battle to fight on the field, definitely, because the casualty is going to be high. But so let's fight it, and we're going to cut it out. All right. It's hard to fight uh, cavalry without losing men, but that's pretty good. We got the armor smith. And we found an auxiliary item. Let's see what did we find. Clay warrior. What a treasure. What level is this? Level 3. Perfect. So we don't have to touch it. And then we'll probably start swinging down. Uh, down south. Claim some of these land here. Feels like Gondu is going to grab everything else by the time we get there. So probably no point. Salt mine's pretty good. Not sure if we can get it. He's already starting to claim these. Alright, let's look at our other armies. Guan Yu over here. Picking up more unprotected land. Uh, another fight that we're going to be cutting off. Alright, picked up another candy over here. And then we got one more trade port to go before crossing over the Yangtze River to join our brothers on the other side. Liu Bei leveled up. Hmm, level 9. If we go here, we can pick up Inspiring Words. But then we'll lose out on Unbreakable. Hmm. I mean, he's almost 60. I guess we'll just go for inspiring words then. Oh, so close to maxing out authority. Need to pick up a few trait if we really wanted that. 
All right, let's wrap up all the other armies so that we can move on to you know, the end of this episode. All right, more of the same. Another county fight, another garrison fight. We'll cut it out. All right, uh, nice easy win. So we now got a weapons uh, craftsman and uh, armor smith in the same turn. Very happy about that. Zhang Fei over here. Need to be careful, actually. A lot of enemies. Uh, we might come back to this next episode. I think this episode we did enough. I think we just gotta get them on land. Yeah, he's finally on land. Next turn for that one. He needs to continue sailing down. Still three, four turns away. Ma Cho. Hmm. He needs to go over. Maybe he needs to set up to attack this right here. Next turn. Or maybe Corona will beat us to it. We don't know. Uh, so I think we'll stop here. Next episode, we'll have Zhang Face launch his attack towards Changsha Trade Port. Uh, it'll be a tough fight because they have a bunch of armies nearby and there's a full garrison and this should be a level 5 trade port So I'm guessing the garrison is gonna be a full yep two full garrisons So it should be fun. Uh, we'll jump back in next up next time to fight that uh, we meanwhile this episode's been pretty successful uh, We're picking up territory. We picked up our first Emperor seat. We're close to picking up our uh, Second Emperor seat which should end the game once we have 95 territory. So we're getting very close to the end uh, thank you guys for sticking around to watch this Let's Play series. And I'm very excited to finish this one up and get started with the 8 Prince Let's Play starting August 8th. So see you guys then. Bye!